If you just received your Radio Master TX12, you probably will figure out that your switches are not properly set up and your switches are not recognized by Betaflight when you flip them. Do not worry as this is a quick guide as of how to set up your switches on your Radio Master TX12 or any HTX radio. Let's go. The goal of setting up switches is to make sure we assign the desired switch to the correct aux channel. By saying aux channel, this is what I meant. And today we will be setting up our arm switch, mode switch, and our turtle mode switch, which we will be assigning the arm switch to aux 1, mode switch to aux 2, and the turtle to aux 3. Okay, done with the backgrounds, let's just jump right in. Okay, so generally you're going to start by selecting a model, which you're just going to, if it's a touch screen, you're just going to touch your screen and you're going to select model. We're going to go to a one, let's just use the test, and we're going to select model. Okay, Okay, so we're going to set up our switches in our models tab. So MDO, you can just press the MDO button on your right, or you can find it somewhere on your radio. And you're going to use the page button to select and go to the correct page, or you can just use the touch screen function. So if you use your touch screen function, it's like you just basically press on the top icon. So this is the mix tab. You're going to ignore the first four slots as these are your right sticks and your left sticks and we're going to start from the fifth slot. So when you're starting from the fifth slot, it's going to start counting as aux 1. So sixth slot, aux 2, 7, aux 3. Okay, let's begin to set up. We're going to start by channel 5, and you're going to use the scroller button to scroll down and select channel 5. You're going to add a channel. So name, you can name it whatever you like. It's not going to affect binding or anything, but for just easy purpose, I'm just going to name it as arm. And I'm just going to use A to abbreviate it. And you're going to scroll down to source. And very easy, if we wanted to use this to be my arm switch. So the source, you just have to flip it. So you can see that it's already selected SF. And you're just going to press OK. And you're going to scroll down to the switch part. And this is to tell like what are the values you wanted to give. So we wanted this switch to be flipping up. So it's going to read 100. And when you flip it down, it's going to read 0. So if you switch it to, if you say I wanted to reverse it, so you can see that currently when you're flipping down, it's going to show negative 100 and when you flip it, it's going to show zero. Okay, so this is not what I want. I'm going to adjust it to up to 100. Okay, so our arm switch has been set up. Next, we're going to set up our mo switch, which is going to be on channel 6 and also be on aux 2. So we're going to use this switch SE as our mode switch. Same, you're going to hit the plus sign on the bottom to add additional channel. We're going to add channel number 6. So name, we're going to name as M, as mode, say M1. Okay. So the source, we're going to use the SE, right? So we're going to use the SE. So this is going to be our source, and you're going to press OK, and you're going to come down and assign the switch promotion. And for this one particular, this one, since this is a three-way, we're going to leave it all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to tell you why later. Okay, once we're done, return. And since this is a three-way switch, you can see that each slot only records one motion. So I can only go up and down, and if you wanted to go up again, you're going to have to add additional layer. So to add additional layer, what you have to do is at this channel 6, press the scroll button, and you're going to insert after. For this one, make sure you don't have the same name or it's going to erase something. We are going to go down, and we're going to name this M2. M2 and source, same. We're going to use the S, oop, wrong one. We're going to use the SE button and scroll down to switch and this time you're going to flip it all the way to the top so it can record your three motions let's exit and you can see that there is two layers and when you flip it on the top it's going to do one motion and when you flip it to the middle it's going to do one motion see it's gone and we flip it to the bottom you can see that this uh, opens up okay so simple the last one we're going to set up our turtle mode switch which we're going to use the sh i typically like to use this one you can assign any anything you like, but we're just going to use channel 7, and this one is going to be aux 3. So name, let's just name it as T for easy turtle mode. Okay, and we are going to use the source as this one, SH. 
and the switch motion we are going to record as flip up so sh up and we are done and since all our switches are now set up let's just bind it to a quad and test it on beta flight to see if it actually works okay we're going to come to our computer and you're just going to plug in your tiny loop or your draw whatsoever and we are going to hit connect to beta flight i don't know why this is asking me to connect this but okay receiver go away so obviously your sticks are always going to work right and let's test our aux one aux one is our arm switch right so arm okay so you can see that the value is moving aux two one in two okay and our turtle mode aux three okay okay so it looks like everything is working so very good that the switches has been successfully set up let's just go flight and i will see you next time bye for now